Okay, now we got sound. <laughs> awesome. Sometime in, in between there, my sound quit. But we're back at it now. Seminole leads Prague five to nothing. As Prague's had several turnovers already in the front game. This is Demi Manning from inside the paint. She's gonna pivot, go underneath Cotner, and a good move by Demi. That'll put Prague on the board. Full court man-to-man -man press, it looks like, by the Lady Red Devils. And it's broken by the Lady Chieftains. This is Rideau. Now number 15, O'Daniel from the corners off the back iron. Maggie Smith gets the rebound for the Lady Red Devils. Cameron. Now Manning. Over to Smith. Kicks it down to Tessa Cooper who's now entered the game. Real good kick over to Manning for the jump shot. It's off the mark. And it looks like Maggie Smith had a chance at the rebound, but Cotner didn't let her, and they're going to say it's off Maggie in favor of the Lady Chieftains. Coker's going to enter the game again for O'Daniel. And again, Preg is going to full court press here, it looks like. 347 left in the first. Ooh, big block there by Maddie Rich. Number 12, Sewell tried to get that one off. Quickly, a three attempt by Coker's off the mark, rebounded by Rideau, and then Cotner puts up a shot. It's off the mark, but another offensive rebound by number 22, Kennedy Coker. She goes up, and she's fouled. Maggie Smith picks up her first personal. That'll be the third team foul against Preg. Number 22, Kennedy Coker for two here. We got a sub for Seminole. Tanaya Rideau enters the game in favor. Coker seconds off the mark, but Rideau gets the rebound, and they're going to call a walk on her. So another rare turnover by Seminole. Now Peyton Cameron has it. Good drive by Demi Manning, but 23 Cotner, I believe, picks up her second or third block of the game. As like I said, she's by far the tallest player on the court. And she's got massive wingspan, and you've seen it twice so far. Now, Maddie Rich from the corner for three. It's off the back iron. It's tipped around. Saved by Seminole, but Maggie Smith comes up with it. Jump shot from the elbows off. And then Tessa Cooper tries to save it, but it's off her and out of bounds. Fast break points off the mark. Number three, Rideau with the shot is off the mark. Tessa Cooper with the rebound for Preg. And this is Peyton Cameron's shot. It's off the mark. Again, bounced around, and she gets her own rebound there. Baseline pass. Now Peyton Cameron for three from the wing. Off back iron. All the way in the corner, that's number 14. Reese Street with the board. They're going to call a walk against number 23, Caitlin Cotner. Kate, Caitlin. Caitlin Cotner. Caitlin, where's my T? Cross court pass to Maggie Smith. She'll give it down to Demi Manning on the block, guarded by Cotner. She's double teamed. She kicks it to the other side of the block. Maggie Smith shots off the mark. Rebound, Cotner.
Now Coker with the ball. Down to Cotner in the corner, guarded by Demi Manning. Now Street with it. Baseline pass, and then they'll kick it back out to Coker. And it looks like they'll kind of reset here. Trying to get the ball to Cotner down low, it looks like. Oh, big three by Rideau is good from the corner. And we'll have a timeout, Prague. 112 left in the first quarter. Seminole leading Prague 9 to 2. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Ortho Plus is an orthopedic urgent care. If you go to a regular emergency room, you're going to be evaluated by somebody who does everything. With Orthopedic Urgent Care and with Keith Holloman, you're getting an orthopedic trained physician assistant. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. We're back after the timeout called by Prig. Demi on the block, and it's again blocked by Cotner, her third or fourth block of the game. Fast court break. Coker shots a little off the mark, and Coker and number 12, Sewell, collide, and it's off Seminole in favor of Preg. Maggie Smith driving, she'll be fouled. That's number 12. Sewell gonna get card for, called for the foul. That's her first. On a Naira Sewell. Quickly inbounded by Smith to Demi Manning who takes a shot from the free throw. And it's good. That cuts the lead. Nine to four in favor of the Lady Chieftains. Twenty seconds left in the first quarter. Your steal right there by Maggie Smith. Garden Rideau. And she'll kick it over to Coker, who's got it up top, guarded by Tessa Cooper. Screen set. When they're going to call double dribble. They wanted to do a little pick and roll right there, but good defense by the Lady Red Devils with four seconds left, and they might have a legit shot at ending the quarter here. Demi's going to inbound, gets it to Peyton Cameron. Give Peyton the time to sit up for a deep three. It's off the front iron and no good. And again, sorry if you're just joining us. Uh, my sound wasn't working a little bit through the first part of that, but I got to figure it out now. So it's been a minute since I've done this, but again, welcome back from the Christmas break. Everybody joining us. Um, nine to four is the score, and the girls will play just after this, or the boys, I'm sorry, will play just after this against the uh, Seminole Chieftains. And if you remember last year, it was one of the four losses that the boys had, so it should be a really good game. Um, but again, you can tell both these teams come out, and they're having some jitters, having a couple of weeks off for the break. Not many shots being made, so we'll see how the second quarter pans out for the Lady Red Devils. Still well within striking distance here. Uh, as it's earlier on in the game, again, 9-4 to four in favor of Seminole, fixing to start the second quarter. But again, Trell and I will be live from Ripley starting Thursday at 4.20. And that's when the girls play and the and the boys will play right after that at 5.40. The boys will play Yale and the girls will play Woodland. So again, Trell and I will be live from Ripley, in case you guys can't make it up there. And uh, Seminole will start the ball with the second quarter. This is Coker for three from the right wing. It's off the mark. Ball's bounced around. Tessa Cooper, number 14, comes up with the rebound for Prague. Kicks it quickly out to Peyton Cameron. Takes it up the left-hand side. 
Baseline shot by Cameron is short and off the mark. Rebound number 12. Anira Sewell. Coker down to Cotner. Cotner back to Coker. Throws up a layup. It's a little hard off the backboard. Rebound number 11. Maggie, or Maddie, Rich rather. Ooh, steal by number 12 there. Sewell. She's got one on one versus Rich. Shot is off the mark, but the ref is going to say before the shot she was fouled by Maddie Rich. So it will be not a shooting foul. It will be on the floor. That's Maddie's second foul and Preg's third team. Quick pass to number 14, Reese Street. Kicks it back out to Sewell. Shoots a monster three. It's off the backboard, but a rebound by Coker. And then now Peyton Cameron comes up with the third rebound there. Tess Cooper, that ball's deflected by Coker. Oh, no, 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 no. That ball was deflected. Oh, I'm trying to work the camera and talk at the same time. So they're going to call a backcourt against Preg. And we're going to have a sub. This is O'Daniel checking in for Coker. And then we're going to have number 12, Sewell, sit for number 20, Rideau. So O'Daniel's going to get the ball for Seminole first. Good trap by the Lady Red Devils there. And that one's deflected by Peyton Cameron. And we have a uh, another sub for Preg. Kaylee Rich on the floor for the first time this evening. Ooh, big three by Maddie Rich. Just barely missed it long. Rebound by number 23, Caitlin Kotner. O'Daniel trying to get the ball down to number three, Alexa Rideau. It's deflected out of bounds by Preg in favor of Seminole. Lady Chieftains to inbound underneath the goal. This is Rideau in the corner. She dribbles around towards the middle. Kicks it out to Reese Street, who finds O'Daniel. And that pass was intended for Rideau, deflected out of bounds in favor of Preg. 5.56 left in the half. Preg trailing Seminole, 9-4. Maddie Rich down to Demi Manning. Cross-court pass to Kaylee Rich. Fakes and gives it back out to Cameron. Good pass down to Maddie Rich there. Right-handed layup is good. That cuts the lead to just three now. Lady Devils defense has been pretty decent tonight. Need, need to get some a lot more rebounds. Seminole's getting a lot of second and third opportunities here. This is O'Daniel at the top of the key. Over to Cotner. Cotner drives towards the middle, kicks it to Rideau. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Rideau, I had it right. Back to O'Daniel. Now Reese Street with the ball. They're going to say double dribble. Another good defensive stand by the Lady Red Devils. 4.47 left in the second quarter. Number 20, Rideau. We had two Rideaus on the court there. She'll take a seat. Rich down to Manning. Manning with the left hand. And again, another block, and it's they're clean, folks, I'm telling you. Cotner can block. This is a big three by Peyton Cameron from the corner. Big, big three by Peyton Cameron from the corner, and that ties the game at 422 left in the second quarter. Ooh, another good deflected pass by Peyton Cameron. She's kind of come alive in the last three or four minutes of this. Second quarter here. Inbound, Cotner to inbound for Seminole. She's got nowhere to go with it. 
She finally finds Rideau. Ooh, almost stolen by Kaylee Rich. This is Rideau driving. Now Coker with it in the corner. Tries to get it down to Cotner and does. Cotner with a big move in the inside. She gets fouled by about three Lady Red Devils. So she'll shoot two right here with 4.03 left in the second quarter. Kaylee Rich picks up her first personal, and that's the third off. I believe it's the fourth team foul against Preg. They just hadn't changed it yet. So 23, Caitlin Cotner to shoot two here. She makes the first and breaks the tie. And now Anaya Sewell to enter the game for Seminole. O'Daniel will set number 15. Second free throw by Cotner is off, and number 14, Reese Street, is going to pick up an over the back foul there. I believe that's only her first. It is. And I think it's either the fifth or the sixth team foul against Seminole. Well, Seminole is going to press now. Demi Manning to inbound with four minutes left in the second. Cooper's got it. Now Manning. Ooh, almost broken press there, but it was deflected by number 12. Sewell there. Kaylee Rich with it, over to Peyton Cameron. Cameron dribbling towards the middle, gets it to Tess Cooper. Now to Kaylee Rich for three, and just off the mark. Cooper's got a chance to save this, she does, but it's right into Coker's hands. And now the Lady Chieftains will be off and running. Twenty-two, Kennedy Coker called for the travel there. 3.50 left in the first half. Demi Manning going against Cotner again. She's double teamed. By number 12, Sewell, but they're going to call Demi for three seconds in the lane as Seminoles wanting to go fast here. All the way, it's going to be called a walk. That's number 12, Sewell. As Mr. Kemp, the coach for Seminole, was wanting the ladies to go quick there. Now they're going to press here. That ball's overthrown by Maddie Rich, intended for Kaylee Rich. Out of bounds in favor of Seminole. Now Kennedy Coker with it. Down to Cotner. Cotner's got it at the top of the key. Back to Coker. Coker down to Sewell. And that's a pass back to Coker that was off the mark. Rebound, Maddie Rich. Again, high pressure by the Lady Chieftains. Preg able to break it this time. Maddie Rich driving on the right-hand side, and she is rejected, rejected again by Cotner, and it's going to be back off of Maddie Rich and out of bounds in favor of Seminole. I lost, lost count on how many blocks that Cotner's had. Backdoor cut by Rideau is good. Demi hits Rich at the high post. Goes up strong in between three Lady Chieftains. Shot is no good, but she'll go to the free throw line here. Foul is going to be called against number 23, Caitlin Cotner. Only her first foul of the game. Uh, third team foul. First one's made by Maddie. Two point game with 2.23 left in the half, 12 to 10. Maddie makes both of them. I believe she has now four or five points in the game. This is Cotner. Now Rideau with the three from the left wing off the back iron. Rebound Cotner near the free throw line. Demi Manning working on her, and they call a foul against Demi Manning. Yes. 
That's Preg's 16 foul. Demi's, I believe, second or third at least. We got a timeout Seminole, 60-second timeout with 2.07 left in the half. Seminole leading Preg 12 to 11. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. All right, we're back after the timeout. Again, if you're just joining us, 207 left in the half. Seminole leading Preg 12 to 11. Seminole has the ball underneath the goal here with a chance of an inbound play. This is Coker with the inbound attempt. And they're gonna call five seconds. Indeed they do. Good defense by the Lady Real Devils. Five second violation called. And again, Lady Red Devils been playing pretty decent defense here as Demi's trying to get the ball in, now gets it into Peyton. Now Rich with it, back to Peyton. Peyton down to Demi now. Cross court pass over to Tessa Cooper. Now Peyton Cameron for threes off the back of the rim. Rebound number 12, Sewell for the Lady Chieftains. Quick cut pass, that's uh, Coker, and that shot was blocked partially by either Maddie Rich or Tessa Cooper, I couldn't see. Now Peyton Cameron running with it, she'll throw up a floater from the left side, it's no good. Bounced around, Kaylee Rich with the rebound for the Lady Red Devils. Now Tessa Cooper from the free throw line, it doesn't get the roll, Cotner gets the rebound. One seventeen now left in the half. This is Rideau, she's hit a couple of threes, I believe, this game. Now Sewell with it. She bombs a three from the left corner, it's off the mark, rebound Demi Manning. Quickly passes it out to Peyton Cameron, working the right-hand side here, she's trapped. Back to Manning. Now Manning down to Tess Cooper, who takes a shot, she's blocked from behind, but they're gonna say she got a wrist. That's number 12, Anira Sewell with the foul. And number 14, Tessa Cooper, with a chance to shoot a couple of free throws here. That's Sewell's second personal and fourth team foul against Seminole. Tessa's first is off. 53.3 seconds showing on the clock. We got a sub coming in. Leah Dahman's gonna come back in for uh, Maddie Rich. Tessa's second free throws off the mark. And rebound by number 14, Reese Street. Cross court pass, Coker to O'Daniel is no good and out of bounds in favor of Preg. 47 seconds left on the clock. The senior, Peyton Cameron, has it. Me and Chill are going to work the next three days to come up with all nicknames for the girls. <laughs> I got a couple in mind. This is Cooper over to Peyton Cameron. She's going to go baseline. Cotner's going to try to meet her. The floater is off by Peyton. She gets her own rebound. Right back to the free throw line. Puts it up and just can't get him to fall. Good shot attempt right there. Just can't get him to fall. That's Coker with the rebound for Seminole. Cross court pass. Now Cotner has it on the right hand side. She's going to dribble all the way into the lane. 
Kick it down to O'Daniel. Now back out to Reese Street for three or two, and it's off the mark, and that'll end the half. Huh. All right, a couple of things. Good first half, good defensive first half by the, the Lady Red Devils. I don't think either team is shooting very well. Um, we just got to get uh, around Cotner. Um, she's a beast inside, and she's going to block anything that comes into the lane. You know, some of those mid-range shots that we took right there could have fell. This could be a different ball game. We're lucky to be only down one, 12 to 11 and a half. And so some things coming up tonight. Of course, the boys play Seminole, but again, um, Ripley Tournament, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Trello and I will be there. Uh, I don't have to work. I should be able to be there. We'll be there for the first game at 420 as the, as the girls take on Woodland. And then soon after that at 540, the boys take on Yale. So, and if the girls win, they will play Friday at 7 against either Newkirk or Ripley. If they lose, they'll play at 140 at Friday against the loser of that two games. Okay, and the boys, kind of the same boat. If they win, they will play Friday at 8.20 p.m. If they lose, they play at 12.20 p.m. Friday against the winner slash loser of Kellyville Woodland. So that's the tournament coming up. Trell and I will be there. So, again, we'll put some time on the uh, clock, and we'll see you guys for the second half. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics. It's good. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The way you used to access healthcare previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right people. That's why I think the partnership is so good. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest prices on the data you and the others on your plan really need. That's why people all over are switching to Pioneer. Pioneer Cellular can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. Visit our website at gopioneer.com, call us at 800-641-2732, or stop by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner.
All right, welcome everybody back for the second half of tonight's game against Seminole as Preg trails Seminole by one going into the third quarter. If you're just joining us, Lady Red Devils played a really good defensive first half, not so good offense, and a little bit of vice versa for the, uh, a little bit of the same, sorry, for Seminole. Um, as we have reached the first game back from the break, it looks like the same starting five that started the game for Preg will be on the court. You got Dahman and Cameron Smith, Manning and Rich. And again, Preg going right to left this half. Seminole left to right. Cameron's quickly double teamed in the corner for a three and stolen by Coker. Quickly get it down to Cotner. Backdoor cut by Sewell, and the shot is off the mark. Rebound, uh, wild thing. Maggie Smith, it's stolen. This is uh, Street with the ball. Hits a cutting. Coker runs right into Maggie or Maddie Rich, and they're going to get Maddie with a foul here with 7.29 left in the third. That's uh, Maddie's third, and the first team foul against Preg of this half. And Coker's a little shaken up on the play. That was a big collision there. Coker was right down the middle of the lane, and Maddie held her ground, and they kind of just collided. Glad to see her get up and shoot the free throws. Maybe she just got the wind knocked out of her a little bit. Kennedy Coker to shoot two. They're going to give her a minute to get her breath back. Looks like, like I said, I think she just got the wind knocked out of her. They're going to let Tessa Cooper come in for, I'm assuming, Maddie Rich. Indeed. Yeah, Maddie's in foul trouble, so... All right, two shots here for Coker. I do believe if there's an injury, you can sub for the shooter. Her first one's well short. Now she's kind of holding her, like, nose and face. She may have hit a lot harder than I thought she did. Tessa Cooper will switch places with Maggie Smith on the block. As the second free throw is no good, rebound by Demi Manning. Now Peyton has it over to Mighty Mouse. Dahlman over to Maggie Smith. Maggie drives down to the corner, kicks it out to a wide open. Demi Manning pump fakes, drives the lane, goes up with the left hand, and hits the front of the rim off the mark, and caught her with the rebound. Now Coker has it. Guarded by Dahlman. Now this is Street over to Cotner. Ooh, and tried to get uh, Rideau on the cut there. Pass a little bit too far in front of her, and uh, Dahman will come up with the steal. This is Peyton Cameron running the length of the floor. Throws a flutter up and in. So that gives Prick, I believe, the first lead of the game that they've had. 6.28 left in the third. 13-12 to 12 in favor of the Lady Red Devils. Ooh, good cut by Coker in the middle. She'll go up strong, and she's going to be fouled by Tessa Cooper. Coopers, they haven't put her, I don't know how many fouls she has yet. They'll put it up in just a second, hopefully. As Coker's going to shoot two more free throws. And she misses the first. Going to have a sub for Coker. Next dead ball. Rebounds, or the shot's no good. Rebounded by Tess Cooper. Quicks out to Demi Manning. Now quickly down to Peyton Cameron. Thought about going baseline. Pulls it back out. Now Manning's going to, ooh, I thought she's going to shoot the three. And she is. It's off the front. Rebound by Coker. And she gets tied up with Dahman. And they're going to get number three Dahman with the foul. I believe it's her second at least. Her first foul, rather. That'll be the second team foul against Preg this half as Coker's going to sit down in place of Rideau. Now, we have two Rideaus on the floor, I believe. We have an Alexa and a Tiana. So I'll try to call them by the first name soon. This is Sewell driving, and she's going to be fouled on the floor, I believe. 
by Maggie Smith, it looks like. 13 foul against Prague, Maggie's second personal. Alexa to inbound for the Lady Chieftains. Gets it to Street on the right hand and blocks a little bit too hard, but then Rideau gets the rebound. It's deflected. I think it was Peyton Cameron that blocked that shot. Rebound Demi Manning. Ooh, Maggie gets it stolen on the right-handed side. That's Sewell. That's probably about her fifth steal of the night. And so far, she hasn't given it up. And they're going to call a foul. So the bucket is good. Naira Sewell with a three-point opportunity as Maggie picks up another quick foul. And she'll be replaced by number two, Kaylee Rich. So Sewell to shoot one to try to complete the three-point play here. And it's off the mark. Rebound Tess Cooper. Quick pass down to Rich. Now Dahman has it. Back to Rich. Now over to Dahman on the left side. Gets it down to Tess Cooper on the block. Quick kick out to Kaylee Rich. Pump fakes a three. Shoots it from the inside the free throw. It's just off the mark. Big collision there inside the paint. The ball's kicked around, and they're going to say Seminole ball. Five oh five left in the third. Break down by one now. This is Sewell with it up top, guarded by Tess Cooper. Kicked it down to one of the Rideaux. She's going to work the right block. Goes up strong. Shot is no good, but she's fouled by number three. Leah Dahman. That's her second personal and the 15 foul against Preg this half. Tanaya Sewell, or I'm sorry, Tanaya Rideau to shoot two free throws here. First one is good. 15 to 13. Second one's good. And here comes, then we're going to get a quick foul right there, it looks like. Number 12, Anaira Sewell picks up the foul. That's her third, and only the first team foul against Seminole this half. Trying to get down to Cooper, it's stolen by Rideau. Now Sewell has it. Now the other Rideau. This is Street with it. Now Sewell, she'll shoot the three from the right corner. It's off the mark. Rebound Street. Rideau for three. Lefty, and it's good. That's at least her third three of the game. And Seminole quickly jumps up by six. This is Dahman. She pulls it back out to Cameron. Cameron on the baseline, now in the corner. Looking for some help, gets it to Tess Cooper at the top. Manning over to Rich, now back to Manning. From the free throw, two-point shot is good as Demi hits about her fourth shot of the night. Three forty-five left in the third. Rideau for three again is well short. And they're going to say it's off of number 20, Tanaya Rideau. Number 15, Adriana O'Daniel enters the game in place of Anaira Sewell. 3.32 left in the third quarter. Preg down four. Demi Manning from the free throw line. A little deep. Tess Cooper's in for the rebound. She saves it to Rich. Excellent play by Cooper there. Now Manning driving. She'll go up strong in the paint. She's going to be fouled by either one of the Rideaux or Kottner. Oh, they're going to say it's on the floor? Okay. Told you. Hold on. Okay, now they're going to say it's on the floor. Yeah, they're now going to say it's on the floor. So Manning to inbound here for the Lady Red Devils. 
gets it to Tess Cooper. Cross court pass to Peyton Cameron for three off the front of the rim. Tess Cooper, big offensive rebound. Back out to Demi Manning with the about the 12 footer is good. And Demi's kind of got the hot hand right now offensively for Preg. Cutting the lead just down to two now, 19 to 17. 257 left in the third. I would keep shooting it. Got a cameraman now. Amanda showed up, so. <laughs> they had practice tonight. This is Rideau driving. She's fouled by two or three different. Oh, they're going to say she walked. <laughs> uh, I thought she was fouled by like two or three different people. So a turnover there by Seminole. Gives Preg the ball back with 240 left in the third. Peyton Cameron for three again, right wing. Bam! Call her the range finder. <laughs> no, that's not a very good nickname. <laughs> we'll have to come up with a better one. <laughs> oh, good steal by Dahlman right there. She gets it to Cooper. Now Cameron's got it again. From just inside the free throw, Cameron's short. Cotner with the big rebound. And they're going to call Demi Manning with the hold. Whoa, whoa, wait. Wait. So they called an... Okay, so they're going to call Preg Demi Manning with a foul. So that's going to put them in the bonus. So we're going to get a one-on-one -on -one chance here for Cotner. It confused me because he was doing the offensive behind the head sign. It was a clear foul against Demi. 2.13 left in the third. Preg's up one now with Cotner a chance to tie or give them the lead. The one and one shot is off the mark. Rebound, Demi Manning. Quick kick out to Peyton Cameron is running up the left-hand side now. Guarded by Street. Now Manning has it, guarded by Rideau. Kaylee Rich has it now. Back to Demi. That's double dribble. Yep. And we're going to have a sub here as Dahman's going to come back in for Demi Manning. Street over to Cotner. And that's going to be out of bounds against Seminole in favor of Preg. I can't think of her name. All right, here we go. So Preg has it now. 127 left in the third. Cameron's trapped in the corner. She'll dribble out of it. And they're going to call a hand check foul against number 14, Reese Street. Ooh, blocked shot right there again by Cotner. This is Peyton Cameron with the shot. It's off the mark. Rebound, Reese Street. Dahman's going to pick up another foul here. She's going to be in foul trouble now, too. She's got three. So Jaden Hightown, number 43, is in the game. So Street's free throws off the mark. Big rebound by Hightower there. This is Peyton Cameron. Straight up the middle. She'll take a jumper from the free throw. She was fouled when she shot it. Shot is no good, but she'll get to shoot two here. Ella Simic, Shimic is also in the game. Number 12. I didn't have a number 12, but I know who she was. <laughs> My God. Peyton's first is good. 
and second is good. So Preg gets a, the, their largest, largest lead of the game with 102 left in the third, up by three, 22 to 19 over Seminole. This is Shimmick. Now Hightower guarding Cotner. Cotner's going to drive here, puts a big shot up off the glass, and that's good for Seminole. Big three from the top of the key for Peyton Cameron. Is she going to miss many of those? Not that open. Big answer by Preg. As Coker's back in the game for Seminole. Glad to see she's okay. Big collision with Maddie Rich earlier. Backdoor cut by Rideau. Let the left-hander goes up. It's off the mark. Rebound Kaylee Rich. Now Hightower has it in the corner. She'll dribble towards the paint, kick it out to an open Shimmick. Ooh, good shot. Bounces off the rim three times. Shimmick gets her own rebound. Back to Peyton Cameron on the baseline, and it's good. 21-27 in favor of Prague at the end of the third quarter. Good, good third quarter by the Lady Red Devils. Some big threes by Peyton Cameron. Some excellent shots by Demi Manning. And how about the newer, the, the newer ladies coming into play? Shimmick and Hightower, excellent, excellent job there. Excellent third quarter. So we'll be back with the fourth quarter in just a minute. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Ortho Plus is an orthopedic urgent care. If you go to a regular emergency room, you're going to be evaluated by somebody who does everything. With orthopedic urgent care and with Keith Holloman, you're getting an orthopedic trained physician assistant. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging work. All right, here we go. We're back. Start of the fourth and final quarter. Preg leading Seminole 27 to 21. Okay, here we go. Coker over to Cotner. Cotner trying to drive, kicks it back out to Coker. Coker's going to drive the lane in the middle, goes up strong. It's off the mark, bouncing around. It's going to be out of bounds in favor of Seminole. And we're going to have a sub really quick. This is 14, Reese Street entering the game. Number 24, Jada Reese was in the game for her. All right, this is Rideau inbounding. Gets it over to Coker. Coker with the three attempt from the corner. It's long, off the mark, rebound Street. Street back out to, this is Sewell now. She's hit a couple of threes as well. Coker cross-court pass to Reese, working the baseline against Peyton Cameron. It's off the mark. Ooh, big collision down low between Coker and Maggie Smith. It's out of bounds in favor of Preg this time. Looks like the Lady Chieftains are going to press here. Full court man-to-man -man here. Peyton has it. Over to Dahman. Now Dahman dribbling up the left-hand side. She'll pick up her dribble, throw it in the middle. This is Hightower. Cross attended for Shimmick, and it's off the mark. A little bit behind her. So they had it beat. So Seminole takes over. 7-15 in counting left in the game. 22 Kennedy Coker. Kind of been their uh, floor general, for lack of a better turn. Now it's Rideau. She's hit a few threes tonight. Now down to Cotner. And she's been ginormous in the lane as her shot is off the mark. Rebound, uh, I believe it's Simic, and she's going to be tied up. They're going to say jump ball in favor of Preg. Again, full court pressure by the Lady Chieftains. Dahman goes backwards with it to Peyton Cameron. Now across court to Maggie Smith. She's got a chance at this. She's going to take Cotner 101. Nope, she chooses to throw down low. Attended for Shimmick. It was off the mark. Stolen by Sewell. And then down to Cotner on a fast break. She's fouled by Peyton Cameron and one. Oh, 
So, we're going to have a chance at a three-point opportunity here for Kottner, 23-27. to 27. Maggie Smith will sit, and Maddie Rich will come back. Kottner's free throw is off the mark, rebounded by Street, and they're going to say she walked. Good block there by Hightower if the walk wasn't called. Again, full court press. I don't think they're going to quit this because it's been working. Rich has it, left-hand side, looking across the timeline. And another thrown away pass. This is Sewell with the steal. Maddie Rich has got, that was, I, I don't know what that went. It was off the mark, but it's an offensive rebound by Bordeaux, I think. And she goes up and scores two. Leads cut to two. As Seminole comes out in the third quarter, or fourth quarter rather, swinging. Peyton Cameron from just past the free throw line. It's off the mark. Maddie had a chance at it, but it's rebounded by 14, Reese Street. Now, cross court pass down to Rideau, guarded by Cameron. Her layup is good. That'll tie the ball game at 27 all. 5.45 left in the game. Cameron has it now. Cameron driving at the free throw line, puts up a shot, bounces a homeward bounce, and we'll take it. And we have a timeout, full timeout called by Coach Kinnemer of Preg. So we'll be back after this. Seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics. It All right, we're back with the last part of the fourth quarter here. Well, midway through the fourth quarter. 5.30 left in the game, 29-27. Prague has a slight lead against the Seminole Lady Chieftains, the visitors from the south. Been a pretty clean, good game this far. Second half has picked up quite a bit as Seminole starts out with the ball, going left to right. And this is Coker with it. Ooh, near steal by Peyton Cameron. They're going to say it was deflected as Radu retains possession. Down to Sewell. She's got it in the corner. Back to Coker. She'll reset up top. Looking for Kottner. As there's two. So somebody's open. Down to Kottner on the right-handed block. And that shot is off. Gets her own rebound. And one. And 29-29. The score. Tie ball game. This is Shimmick. Gets it down to Demi Manning. Spins, kicks it out to Dahlman. He's wide open inside the paint. Can't hit the shot. Rebound, Rideau. He'll kick it out to Coker, and Seminole's going to run here. They've got numbers. Coker's going to take it herself. Left-handed layup. She'll make it and fouled, I believe, by Ella Schimmick, number 12. And we have a timeout, I believe, a full timeout. So we got a minute timeout here. We'll go over just kind of what happened. Um, it's been kind of back and forth. It looks like Coach Kinnemer is going to have some words with the uh, officials here as he's told to get back in his box. 31-29 is the score. Still plenty of game left. Over five minutes left. Um, they'll have a shooting foul, so uh, it'll have a chance for Seminole to go up by one more as I believe Coker's going to shoot it here. But, don't, but after this, I'll reset the stream and we'll have the guys game as they take on the Seminole Chieftains as well um, in the 
nightcap here. And this should be a really good game. Again, this is one of the only games that the boys lost last year, and they lost it at the very end of the game, very close the whole time. So hopefully they come to our house and we handle business. And then we'll go into the uh, Ripley Tournament with a couple of wins here if our girls can, can, can win. So again, Ripley Tournament Thursday. Trail and I will be there 420 p.m. as the girls take on Woodland. And then shortly after that at 540 the next game, the guys will take on Yale. I don't know anything about either of those teams. So take it as it is. Hopefully we can find some good internet up there. I do know we, we, we did it last year, so there's got to be a way to, to stream it up there. So we'll, we'll have it as long as we can find some internet. So it looks like Dahman, Rich, Manning, Cooper, and Shimmick are the ones on the floor for Preg at the moment. And this is Coker with a chance to make a three-point play here. And she misses it. It's off the mark. Reese Street, number 14 rebound. Jump ball. It's going to be in favor of Seminole. This should go that way. Jump ball, possession along to Seminole. Okay, so Seminole has it. That's right. Kicks it out to a wide open Rideau. She can shoot it. And she hits it. 34-29 now. Five point lead for Preg. Full court press by Seminole. That ball is deflected by Sewell and stolen. And down to Rideau. Rideau's going to pull it back out. Sewell's got it now on the right hand side. 4.17 left as Sewell bombs a three and she was way out there. 37-29 as Seminoles opened up a huge lead here. As Cameron's driving line, they're going to say she stepped on the line, and that'll be a turnover against Preg. Four oh seven left. Preg down by what eight? If my math is correct. This is Cotner. Been quiet the second half. Down to Street. The shot is partially blocked. She gets her own rebound and pulls it back out. Wide open Rideau here as Dahman closes in. That's an air ball. And that's not going to be saved. It'll be Preg's ball. And here we go with the press again. Cross court pass. Now Maddie Rich has it. Now Shimmick has it. Cross court pass to Peyton Cameron. Good pass there. Peyton Cameron working on Coker. Now Shimmick has it. Now over to Demi Manning. Ooh, good baseline pass. Good hit right there by Peyton Cameron. That cuts it to six. 320 left in counting. We're going to have to need some big stops here. Ooh, wide underneath to uh, Cotner, and that's all you could do is foul her. And they're going to say she fouled her before the shot. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't I don't know. So now they're going to say she's shooting? Oh, okay, so this is bonus. Either way, it's a shooting foul. As Cotner hits her first one. So confused at times. And she makes both of them there. 39-31 now the score. 307. Dahman's got it. She's got room. And that's deflected out of bounds by Sewell in favor of Preg. And here comes Kaylee Rich. She'll come in for Dahman. Peyton Cameron from the left wing for three. It's off the mark. Maddie Rich has got the board. She's going to go back up with the strong. And caught her with another big block. And we've got a carry called against number 12. Anira Sewell. 250 left in the game. Preg down, what, eight? Peyton to Demi. Demi at the top of the key for two. It's off the mark. Kaylee Rich almost had it, and she's out of bounds. Yep, they're going to call Rideau. But she got the ball from Rich. She stepped on the line. Then it'll be Preg ball underneath. 2.37 left in the game. Demi inbound. 
gets it to Peyton Cameron. Drives at the left hand towards the middle of the lane. Throws a floater off the glass. No good. Ball's bounced around. It looks like Coker came up with it. Coker kicks it over to Rideau. Rideau has it on the left-hand side. Now back out to Street and back over to Sewell. Street or uh, uh, Rideau and Sewell, the shooters. Coker's the driver, and Cotner is the big person down low. As Coker with it, can't dribble twice. Good pressure defense by Peyton Cameron as Reese. Street puts up a shot in the lane. It's blocked and stolen. Now Rich has it. Now Kaylee Rich. We have two Riches now on the court. Peyton Cameron for three from the right wing. It's long air ball. Saved by Sewell. They're going to say it's ours. Preg's ball. And we're going to have a timeout Seminole. 30-second timeout right here. 143 left. We'll be back after the timeout. Good. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. The way you used to access healthcare or previous. There you go. All right, we're back. 143, Mike and Amanda here, um, live from Prague, as we've entered towards the last part of the first game back from the Christmas slash New Year break. Ella Shimmick to inbound for Prague this time. Trying to get Peyton Cameron open, does. Now Maddie Rich, she'll drive the lane. Stops and shoots a little 10 footer that's good. Thirty-three, thirty-nine. We get a baseball pass across half court. This is Street. Ooh, good steal right there by Peyton Cameron. Good defense. Way to get back and hustle and knock it out. One twenty-seven left now. Still plenty of time to get in back into this, as we're going to have a sub here and another timeout by Seminole. Another thirty-second timeout by Seminole. As it looks like Dahman's going to enter the game. I don't know who she's coming in for, but so uh, pretty exciting game backs thus far as we get ready for the uh, whole Ripley tournament. Uh, coming up, but um, pretty good defensive effort, especially in the first half by the Lady Red Devils, and then uh, both teams kind of started hitting shots in the second half, so uh, this press that Seminole's thrown on us in the second half, Craig's had, having a trouble dealing with it, um, trying to break it and get past it, uh, and then a couple of threes there in the last couple of minutes by Seminole has put the lead up to 33-39, um, to 39. so this has been one of the biggest leads in the game. I think Craig's biggest lead was five at one point. And uh, Seminole's biggest lead, I think, was eight or nine. We'll see who Craig comes back on the court with. It looks like it's Manning, Dahman, Peyton Cameron, Kaylee Rich, and Maddie Rich. And you got Sewell, Kotner, Rideau, Coker and uh, Street on the floor for the Chieftains. Inbound attempt here. Gets it to Rideau in the corner, guarded by Kaylee Rich. Good defense. Now Cotner has it up top. Good defense by Demi Manning. Now Sewell has it, guarded by Maddie Rich. And they're just going to waste the clock here. Oh, good pass down low. It's deflected, stolen by Demi Manning. I think Kaylee Rich got the hand on that one. She's running down the right-hand side. She's going to be trapped by two or three. Gets it to Maddie Rich. Maddie cross to Demi. Demi over to Dahman. Now Dahman has it. Driving baseline. They're going to call a foul here against Seminole. 59 seconds left. It'll be on the floor. Seminole's only got five fouls this half. So Dahman to inbound for the Lady Red Devils. They're going to call Reese Street out of bounds when she had her hand on the ball. So Preg will still re retain possession. 57.2 seconds left. Down 33-39. Peyton has it now. Guarded by Street. 
she clears out. So Peyton's going to stop and shoot, and it's blocked partially, and they're going to call a shooting foul on 23, Caitlin Kotner, with 48 seconds left in the game. Peyton Cameron's first free throw is no good. Second one is good. The so Pregs should call a timeout or press here, and I think they will call a timeout. 30 second timeout. So we'll see what Coach Kenner has. Should be high ball pressure by Preg. And uh, I, depending on, I, in my opinion, depending on who gets the ball for Seminoles, who I'd foul. I, I believe Cotner's only made two free throws the last two she shot. She, I don't think she's made very many. So I, I would be probably getting a foul on her if I could. And maybe trying to foul um, Street would be another one, a good one to foul. So we'll see what Seminole does. How I'm assuming that Coker's going to try to get her hands on the ball. If not Sewell or Rideau, those are the, probably the three best shooters, I think, on the floor for uh, Seminole. Rideau's going to inbound it here. So here we go. High ball pressure by Preg, man-to-man. -man. And that ball's going to be thrown out of bounds by Rideau. It's over the head of uh, Coker. And Preg gets a much-needed uh, turnover there with 47 seconds left. No time goes off the clock. Ball never touched a player. So uh, Manning set to inbound. Gets it over to Peyton Cameron. She needs some help and gets it from Maddie Rich. Maddie back to Peyton Cameron. She's guarded by Street. Peyton's going to go left-handed. Back to Demi Manning now. Quickly double-team Demi. Now Peyton from the free throw line. Shot is off. Late whistle. They're going to call a foul. Foul against number 14, Reese Street. Should be a shooting foul here. So Peyton Cameron will go to the line with 31 seconds left. And only down by five. First free throw is good. Plus one. This could make it a one possession game and does. Only three point game now. 36 39, 31 seconds yet. Again, high pressure by the Lady Red Devils. Cotner has it back to Coker. Coker's uh, sprinting up the middle of the field. She's closed down by Maddie Rich and Dahman, and we're going to have a foul, a push foul against Dahman with 25 seconds left. That's her fourth. And 22, Kennedy Coker will shoot two here, being in the double bonus. First one, hits the front of the rim and goes in. Now we have a two possession game now with 25 seconds left. Don't necessarily need a three here, just need to get it down there and score. Second one is short. Four point game, offensive rebound. That's knocked away by Peyton Cameron. And then I believe that's Reese Street. And they're gonna say it's Seminole's ball. So 22 seconds left. Seminole's got the ball. Break down four. Throw in the middle, turn around. Nope, Maddie's got the steal here. And she'll take it herself, and it's stripped away out of bounds in favor of Preg. Seventeen seconds left. Dominant inbound. We need a quick two here. Go up with it. Go up with it. And we're going to have a loose ball foul called against Sewell, I believe, on Kaylee Rich with seven seconds left. That should be, a, that's going to be a shooting foul. Kaylee's going to get a chance to make this a, at least a one possession game with seven seconds left. It's only nine, so it should be a one and one. And it's off the mark. 
Ball's bouncing around. Now uh, Sewell has it. We got a push. Demi Manning's going to foul out here with three seconds left. And it's pretty much impossible to win at this point. Tessa Cooper comes in for her. Anira Sewell shooting two here. 3.5 seconds left in the game. First one's off the mark and short. Second one is off the mark. Tess Cooper gets a rebound. Two seconds, one second as Maddie yanks one down, and it's, that's going to be ball game. So the final score of the girls' game, 36-40 to 40 in favor of Seminole as it goes back and forth the entire second half, and the Lady Red Devils just couldn't hold on at the end. So give me a few minutes and we'll get the um, other stream up for the guys and we'll start the guys game here shortly. So again, final 36 to 40 in favor of Seminole over Preg. We'll be right back here in a little bit.